My name is Laura and I spent the summer solo backpacking across Europe. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you one of the most underrated countries on the continent and that is the beautiful Slovenia. One of the best things about solo travel are the people that make you smile along the way. So meet my friends for the week. This is Taylor. I think I'm going to be the best rower. And then there's Nick and this is what he has to say. Hi, I'm Nick <laughs> from Australia and I stalk influencers. And we cannot forget Maddie. She is like the mammy of the group. She's the best. And last but not least, there's me. Anyway, let's dive into the video. Good morning from the beautiful Bled Slovenia, which is one of my favorite places in all of Europe. And we're starting it at the panoramic viewpoint of the lake. And let me tell you, it is beautiful. This is the view on the other side of the viewpoint. So pretty. It does get quite busy, but obviously absolutely worth it because panoramic viewpoint. So if you don't want crowds, come early. The mountains are so insane. It looks photoshopped. So we are now heading back down the mountain to hopefully get a boat. So what are we getting? We're getting full floaties. <laughs> but Maddie's getting with a donut with a bike cut out. <laughs> Backpackers and spending $7.99 on floaties. And Nick has a tire. Oh, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to go rent a boat and head over to the island with our new toys. Anyone know how to row? <laughs> no, just push it more right <laughs> Like, like that? <laughs> As you can tell, we didn't exactly get off to the best start. Oh, we're going we right for a big one. boat. Thank you for not crashing into us. But we did eventually get the hang of it. I'm doing so good. Right? When we switched to Maddie, that is. I've never done this before. <laughs> okay, maybe not, but we got there in the end. How do I slow? Okay. <laughs> And then it was time to explore the island and, of course, blow up our floaties. We're all waiting on Laura to finish blowing up her floaty. Do you think that's enough? Yes, I think this is a cause for celebration. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh my god, mine is not floated at all. <laughs> Can anyone do it in the water? Make friends like this in hostels, they're great. <laughs> you didn't ruin our job. <laughs> I love encouragement. All right, that should be better. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you. After spending about two hours relaxing on our floaties and behaving like little children, it was time to make our way back to the boat, which brings us back to this moment. I think I'm going to be the best rower. And as you can probably tell, Taylor did not exactly live up to her own expectations. But we got there eventually. Next, we decided to put our coordination to the test by visiting the outdoor water park. I gotta push him in and she's gonna help me. If you're planning a trip to Bled, then don't skip this activity. It was so much fun. It felt like we were in a real life version of Total White Bed or something. Honestly, one of the best ways to spend an evening on the lake. You can do it! Don't let you go, do it. We spent the next two days chilling by the lake and taking in all its beauty, of course, with a lot of swimming involved. And then it was time to check out the nearby attractions. The first being Lake Bohem, a nearby lake that's equally as beautiful as Bled, but far less busy. So today we woke up nice and early and got a bus to Lake Bohem. And now I have a personal kicker. Oh, this is the life. Hurry up. I know, he's so slow. Speedboat energy. Slow and steady. Thank you, friend. Bye. You can go home now. <laughs> Another great place to visit while in the area is the amazing Vinter Gorge. It's a place that will instantly take your breath away with its crystal clear waters and beautiful landscapes. It costs 10 euro to enter and about 30 to 40 minutes to walk through the gorge. It's possible to get a bus back to Bled, but I recommend walking as the views along the way are equally as beautiful. Today we are going on a tour of Triglav National Park. Uh, we left from Bled and already the first stop is so beautiful. It's this insane waterfall. But yeah, I'm excited for it today. Now we're about to go behind the waterfall. This is what the stop-offs on the tour are like. Insane.
On our next stop, we actually drove across the Italian border. We're at this beautiful lake with mountains in the background. It is insane. Again, I'm just gonna put the name here just because I am on a tour, so it's easier just to ask names of places afterwards, but so insanely beautiful. <laughs> so if you can't tell from this look, we are now gonna go whitewater rafting down the Soka River. It's gonna be fun. This was one of the highlights of my Slovenia trip. It did cost an extra 52 euros, making our tour come to a total of 142 euros. But I mean, look at that scenery. I don't think I've ever seen water so clear. I also must introduce two more friends that we made in our hostel, Charlie and Christine. So they basically made this giant slide with one of the rafts that we're going to go down. This part of the tour honestly made me feel like a big kid. We just went again and again and again and every time we got those butterflies in our stomach. It's so cold. So oh, wait, I'm <laughs> How was it? <laughs> I even managed to fall off a few times. And once all the fun was over, it was back in the rafts and that's when the hard work began. You have no idea how much muscle it takes to go in a raft. We were going from the left to the right into the middle, celebrating, and we did even end up on top of a rock or two. But it was honestly so much fun, I don't think I laughed so much on my trip. Once we reached the end of the river, we used what was left of our muscles to dip ourselves in from the raft. Everyone had a go, and I'm not gonna lie, the rest were brilliant, but I struggled. No, no. Hey, how did you do it without falling? But you just engage your core. Your feet lock you I don't have any core. But we got there in the end. <laughs> and then it was time for a little drink. And yes, the water was that clean. And then we actually went for a swim to loosen up those muscles. Look how clear the water was. And it was so fun to just swim and relax after such an amazing activity. And that's it over. That was class. So much fun. Definitely worth it. After the rafting, we went for a drive around the highest mountain pass in Sylvania and the views along the way were insane. So we are finished our rafting um, and now we're just going on like a little mini road trip around the rest of Triglav National Park and just checking out like nice sceneries that we can stop off on. But this day is brilliant. I definitely recommend this tour. I will obviously put it down in the description down below because it's class. We finished our tour at the beautiful Lake Jasna just before the sun was about to set. Honestly, if you're looking for somewhere beautiful in Europe to visit, let that be Sylvania. It is a picture perfect destination. I hope you liked this vlog and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and why not check out my Havar vlog next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!